All right, y'all, I was on one of the Facebook groups earlier today, one of the boxing groups, and I seen it stated that uh, Deontay Wilder was basically ruining the biggest heavyweight fight in boxing history. Not, not the biggest heavyweight fight this year. Not the biggest heavyweight fight of the last five years, last 10 years of our generation. It was the big, they said, the biggest heavyweight fight in history. I beg to differ. I think Andy Ruiz, first of all, let me stop that. I don't even feel like, I don't feel like Deontay Wilder ruining anything. Those clowns jumped the gun knowing arbitration and um, everything surrounding Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury's fight was going to have to happen. Deontay Wilder made it clear he wasn't just going to go away, that he wanted his fight contract honored, and he wanted his rematch. He wanted his shot at getting his belt back. And for those parties to engage into, into negotiations and everything else, despite all of that, they got what they got. Um, at the end of the day, Deontay Wilder just did what he should have done. Tyson Fury, on the other hand, should have done what he was supposed to do from the start, and that was honor the contract. And if he had a problem with just waiting, that was something for him and his promoter to try to work out. But in no way, shape, form, or fashion are you going to see Deontay Wilder just go quietly away and just let you go on with your career and leave him, you know, send their whole little contract that's only worth the paper it's printed on if nobody's going to hold, uphold it. Okay. Now back to this fight. I saw Andy Ruiz in Madison Square Garden beat Anthony Joshua by KO stoppage and upset a, and basically ruin a fight, the trajectory of a fight that was, for all intents and purposes, much bigger than an all UK undisputed showdown between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua was a much bigger fight, much more fever pitch anticipation. I mean, it had drug on. The talks of it had been go ongoing for years. I mean, it was a hot topic um, rivaling the talk around Pacquiao versus Mayweather in terms of the anticipation of the fans wanting to fight. The back and forth venom and vitriol that they had for each other um, on one side versus the other on how they thought the fight was fair. Um, who they felt like was ducking, who didn't deserve the fight, who was gonna get KO, and I just all kind of crazy stuff. But it it made for fun boxing conversations at times, made for a lot of videos on YouTube and all other sorts of social media platforms and a lot of articles and everything else. And then when Andy Ruiz beat AJ, the fight lost the luster. It'll, it'll probably never be as big a fight as it would have been. And on the flip side, when Deontay Wilder went and lost to Tyson Fury, that put another, you know what I'm saying, basically did more damage to that potential fight. I don't know if that fight ever happened, but I certainly know that it was a much bigger fight than what Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua would have been. And all things equal, I can't say that if Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua end up being the two champions when all the smoke clears and they come together for Undisputed, that that fight still won't be bigger than the fight between Joshua and Fury would have been. That's all I got to say on the subject. D-Lo 404 Boxer. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Peace.